Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, Big John TV. What's Cooking Wednesday is back with the holiday edition. I think I might be able to get one more of these this month before Christmas is over. We'll Ho see. Hopefully you guys dig it. Big John TV, we're all about food, family, and fun. That's how we roll. Occasionally on Wednesdays, we like to throw in recipe videos. Now, we used to do these all the time. Lots of views on them sucked. YouTube doesn't like them, doesn't promote them, doesn't help us out. They were our worst performing video of the week, so it got dropped. We're never going to fully retire this segment. We're just going to hold on to it until there's things that we really want to do. Seasonal things like that. Seasonal so. things really seem to cause an uptick in the recipe video realm. Yes. So, like, the forcing a video every week just to cook didn't work. But the holiday stuff, people search for those kinds of videos. And we like them. So, here we go. So, I was able to convince Jess to get in the kitchen and make me some dessert. So, did you send me this one? Yeah. This recipe? Yeah. Let me look real quick. So the weird thing about this was that John sent me this recipe to make, and I was like, I've made these before, but I never did them on video. Right. So about four or five years ago, I was really good about doing Christmas candies and cookies, and I make big batches of things, and this is one of my go-to items, because it is so stinking easy. Right. So I was trying to see if Cousin Katie sent me this video or not. She might have. We sent me videos back and forth, but it was definitely a TikTok video that I saw, and I was like, oh, that looks fantastic. Yep. It also looks great for the holidays, and most importantly, it looked super easy and it simple. It is so easy. So this is called Crock-Pot Candy, Yep. and it, <clears throat> it cannot possibly be any easier. Now, this isn't real traditional candy. Good grief, we got a lot of... of yeah, of, it's not candy in the sense that I'm heating sugar up to a certain temperature right, and so, creating that chemical reaction. This is just a simple sweet to enjoy. So calm down, okay? Just like with our fudge that wasn't really real true fudge, people got all bent out of shape over yeah, it. Yeah, it was a fudge, a faux fudge. How about that? If you haven't watched that, fudge. if you haven't watched that, you, we should pop it up right there and you should go watch it. A lot of people are watching and finding it right now, so it's kind of cool, but... I knew this would be a winner. So first off, you're going to need your crock pot. You're going to need two 16-ounce jars of nuts. You can go salted. You can go unsalted. We actually went with honey roasted nuts. Because so, I thought it sounded like a good idea. Yeah, a little bit of extra sweetness. A little um, honey flavor in there is not bad. One bag of semi-sweet chips. That's a 12-ounce bag. One 8-ounce bar of German chocolate. Um, I only found 4-ounce bars, so you see I got two. A third cup of peanut butter chips. I actually wanted this to be more peanut buttery, so I just used the whole bag. Amen. Uh, 48 ounces of white almond bark. This was two packages of 24 ounces for me. And then you put it all into your crock pot and let it go for two hours and 15 minutes. And it just melts into this beautiful mixture. Once that time has elapsed, that's when you stir it. Prior to that, don't stir it. Just leave it alone. Let it work its magic. And then you dollop it out onto either parchment paper or I use silk pads, nonstick pads. And that's it. Decorate with a little bit of garnish. You can use candy sprinkles, um, candy sugar, even salt would be good on top. You can store these for like a month in the fridge in an yeah. airtight container yeah. if they last that long. They're also great for giving as gifts. Absolutely. All right, now that that's all out of the way, I it smells so good in here. This makes a ton of candy. So I use my cookie scooper, as you saw, to dollop these out. It makes them nice and evenly sized. Mm -hmm. Nice little, um, they're probably like, I'd say two bite, two bite size. You know what I would call these right off the bat? These are going to be called reindeer turds. <laughs> Those look like little pellets that were dropped by some sort of four-legged animal critter from the forest. That's funny. So I did a few with some candy sprinkles. I did a few with some other candy sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Mostly I did without because I don't like candy sprinkles. I think they're disgusting. I think No, they're gross. I got to tell you, I already said it once. These smell fantastic. They do. The perfect chocolate, peanut butter, peanut. That Just that aroma is crazy good right now. And my crock pot actually cooks a little bit high. So I think that the peanuts actually got a little extra roasty. Oh, that's fine. I'm going in on the plain one. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. You're going to try with sprinkle or without? Without. Oh man. For now. 
So these um, hardened up perfectly. Oh, that's They're so not good. melting in my hand. Good peanut butter, good chocolate flavor. They are very sweet, so I wouldn't <clears> be able to eat many of these. That's all I'm doing. One and done for now. It's a little too hard. A little too hard for you? There are a lot of peanuts inside. It is chock full of peanuts. All right, thanks for joining us. Mm. Mm. These remind me a little bit of Rocky Road. Mm. Um, I have in the past mixed mini marshmallows in at the very end. They do kind of melt, but they do add a nice flavor also. I'd be on, top. I'd be on board with that. That sounds good. I didn't show it in the video because I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I had an awkward amount left over at the end. So I spread it out on parchment paper and put marshmallows down the center and rolled it up there we go. and made like logs. Nice. So just some other ideas. So Jamie has been chomping at the bit when he came in, he saw these on the counter because we were ready to film and he's like, um, what are these for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are, what are you going to do with these? So he's like, um, I'm going to join you in the video because I really want to try one. So. Those so, are good. These turn out good. Yep. Super easy. And there you have it. I have zero complaints, zero critiques, zero nothing. These are fantastic. Dead on perfect. Yummy. You're going to have to take these into work. These uh, I here. will definitely be taking a batch into work. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Comment down below if you have ever made a crock pot candy. Because mm. I know there's a million versions of this out there. Oh, yeah. Well, good job. Well, thanks. All right. Uh, comment down below if she should do another holiday recipe video next week because there's some other recipes I want too. Some cookies, maybe some Grinch punch. I saw a recipe for that look really good. Oh my goodness. But you guys need to give this video some love to show Jess that you love her cooking videos. All right guys, make sure you do all the things. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We're on all the social, all the social medias. Come hang out with us. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll catch you in the next Let's one. Go. Bye. See you.